In the previous videos, we have seen the comparison of the different telescopes from Celestron. There is one more series of Celestron which offer giant aperture telescopes. Today we will compare the 8-inch telescope from the Nexstar SE series and CPC series. The CPC series has two 8-inch telescopes. One is CPC 800 and the other is CPC Deluxe 800 HD. Let's see the details of Nexstar 8SE. The 8SE is the most popular telescope from the Celestron Nexstar SE series. It has an aperture of 8 inches, around 203 millimeters. Its focal length is 2032 millimeters and focal ratio is 10. The telescope comes with one 25 millimeter eyepiece. You can get 81 times magnification with this eyepiece. The highest useful magnification you get with this telescope is 480 times, and the lowest useful magnification you get is 29 times. The weight of the optical tube assembly is 12 pounds, around 5.5 kilograms. The telescope has a computerized alt azimuth single fork mount. The weight of the mount is 11 pounds, or around 5 kilograms. The total weight carrying capacity of this mount is 12 pounds, around 5.5 kilograms. The tripod on which the mount sits has a weight of 9 pounds, around 4 kilograms. The mount has a database of 40,000 celestial objects. You can type in any object you want. The computerized mount will guide you to that object. The mount runs on 8 AA batteries, but these batteries can get drained easily, so it's always recommended to buy an external battery power supply with this telescope. The total weight of the Nexstar 8 SE telescope kit is 34 pounds, around 15 kilograms. Let's see the details of the Celestron CPC 800. The telescope has an 8 inch aperture of around 203 millimeters. Its focal length is 2032 millimeters and its focal ratio is 10. The optical tube assembly of CPC 800 and 8 SE are exactly the same. But the CPC 800 comes with one 40 millimeter eyepiece. With this eyepiece, you can get 51 times magnification with this telescope. The highest and lowest useful magnifications of this telescope are the same as 8SE, which is 480 times and 29 times. The main difference between these two telescopes is the mount. The mount which comes with the CPC 800 is the computerized double fork alt azimuth mount. The double fork mount adds more stability to the setup. The mount weighs 30 pounds, around 14 kilograms. The tripod on which the CPC mount sits weighs 19 pounds, around 8.6 kilograms. The tripod legs of the CPC mount have a bigger leg diameter of 2 inches. However, the 8SE tripod has a leg diameter of 1.5 inches. This bigger leg size of the tripod does add up to more stability while stargazing. The total weight of the CPC 800 telescope kit is around 62 pounds, or 27.6 kilograms. The mount has 6-inch brass gears and stainless steel gears, and steel and nylon ball bearings. The CPC 800 mount also has an inbuilt GPS. This is very helpful for setting up the telescope. One of the advanced features of the CPC mount is that it has a periodic error correction. This feature is very much helpful in astrophotography. The periodic error occurs because of mechanical errors and is usually unavoidable. These mechanical errors occur during the tracking for astrophotography. These errors are part of the drive system and are very predictable. The periodic error correction system records these errors and then tries to reduce them. So ultimately you get accurate and smooth tracking with the CPC mount. Let's see the details of the CPC Deluxe 800 HD telescope. When it comes to optical tube assembly, dimensions, and mount, the CPC 800 and CPC Deluxe 800 HD are exactly the same telescope. The only differences between these two telescopes is the optics of the CPC Deluxe 800 HD is superior. The CPC Deluxe 800 HD has Edge HD optics. We have explained about the Edge HD optic previously. 
The simple difference between the normal optics and the Edge HD optic is that with Edge HD, you get a flat field of view throughout. When using a normal telescope, as you go away from the focus of your target toward the edge of the field of view, the objects look blurred and ring-shaped. But with Edge HD, as you go away from the focus target towards the edge of the field of view, the other objects in the field of view will still look sharp. So the Edge HD gives coma-free, field curvature-free, and aberration-free super sharp images. Astrophotography with these telescopes. All these telescopes are costly, so a good astrophotography performance from them is a normal expectation. Though these telescopes have different mounts, both these mounts are alt-azimuth type mounts. If you do not know different types of mounts, then watch this video on the channel. So all these telescopes are good for short exposure astrophotography. Usually it is for the moon and the nearby planets. The CPC mount can track up to 30 seconds very accurately. If you want longer exposure, then you will need to buy a wedge. A wedge will convert your alt azimuth mount into an equatorial mount, and then you can use all these three telescopes for the long exposure astrophotography. So which one should you buy? Of these three, the Nexstar 8SE is the cheapest one, so if you have a smaller budget, then you can go with the 8SE. The 8SE also weighs only 34 pounds compared to CPC 800, which weighs 62 pounds. 8SE has half the weight compared to CPC, so if you're someone who travels a lot and wants a big aperture telescope, then 8SE will be more convenient for you. When your mount has vibrations or if it wobbles, then results from your telescope won't be good. If you are someone who wants a good, sturdier mount that offers great stability and stable views, then you should go with a CPC 800. If you're looking for the best image quality and the stability, then CPC Deluxe 800 HD is for you.